Hey, what's up guys? It's Larry B. Uh, I recently got a Ryzen 7 2700 uh, that was giving me some problems. I got the CPU and basically my RAM XMP profile was just totally unstable. Um, what I did was I ended up finding a program, uh, Ryzen DRAM Calculator 1.3.0, that allows you to put in certain information and it gives you time and it's to put in for the manually put in for the RAM and it will help you get even more even stable RAM or you know tighter timings and stuff like that. For me I was looking for stability. One problem I, I came into when I was looking at it was the information available wasn't really so great. The guy who does the program did do kind of a video of it just showed him kind of moving the mouse it just showed the mouse kind of moving around. Um, but there really wasn't much explaining. I mean, there are se several, uh, let's see, over 2,000 posts in this uh, this particular thread about the software. But really, a lot of that just seemed you know confusing, and it just wasn't something I was wanting to spend hours reading. Um, so I figured I would kind of do a little quick uh, quickish video explaining how to actually use this program because I used it to get my RAM stable and uh it, you know and improve the performance of ram and all that other stuff so uh let's take a look at what you need to do um as far as uh the software and anything i use for this video i will leave descriptions uh links to it in the description below so firstly you want to download the ryzen dram calculator uh whatever the newest version is for me that's going to be 1.3.0 which he just put out today so you're going to want to come over to your OC uh, overclock.net link and find the download folder here. This is going to bring you to his uh, Google Drive file. Download the file. Save it wherever you're going to save it. Uh, I get a little warning. Warning: Ryzen DRAM calculator zip is not commonly downloaded. It may be dangerous. Uh, for me, I'm just going to ignore that. You know, if you don't feel comfortable downloading it, don't do it. Okay, so now we've got the DRAM calculator downloaded. The next thing you're going to need to do is find some way to read information off your RAM. You're going to need some information that's not commonly available for RAM unless someone else has already looked into that particular kit. Uh, for that, there's several options available. Um, but I just found this uh, Typhoon Burner or whatever it's, however it's pronounced. Um, so what I what I, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to this software below. Uh, when you first when you first go to the website, it might push you to this page trying to sell you the software. Just go over to download, and they have a, a free and shareware version right here. I'm not sure what the real difference is between the two are. I just downloaded the uh, freeware version. <clears throat> All right, now that you have the uh, DRAM calculator and a way to read your off your RAM, you know, basically want to close that. You're going to want to unzip your Ryzen DRAM uh, calculator using whatever zip file you use. You're also going to want to unzip. Okay, I already, I've already kind of done all this. Okay, so we, so yeah, you're just going to want to basically unzip those two files. Once you unzip the files, your information ready for the RAM. Uh, I'm using X299 right here for my recording system. Uh, it, I tried to actually use this program on this particular computer and it did not work. It did not like this program. But on my Ryzen system, it worked out fine. So you're going to want to start that up. When you first click on the uh, open up the Typhoon Burner software, it should bring you to something that looks like this or exactly like this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to read. Uh, there's going to be a little drop down menu and it will show you your various sticks of RAM. Select any one of them. Assuming it's the same kit, they should all be the same. Okay, so once you do that, it's going to bring you up to another another page, which should look just like this here. Um, which the main information you're going to want off of this is going to be uh, your die type for my Ryzen system. I have some crappy RAM in there and it's e die. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to look at is how many ranks your RAM is. It's even going to be one or two ranks for that system. The RAM is single rank. So once you got to that information, you can open up the Ryzen DRAM calculator. Okay, once you open up the actual Ryzen DRAM calculator software, you're going to want to put in some of that information you just got. <clears throat> Let's see, memory type. For that, for the RAM on that system, I'm using E. You know, put in whatever type you have, whatever type of RAM. Profile version. 
Uh, this allows you to even select a couple different profiles that he has pre-put the information in for or put in your own numbers. I'm going to leave it as version one. Uh, memory rank, that was the number of sides that it should have told you in the Typhoon Burner. It's even going to be one or two for my kit that I'm looking at. It's going to be one. RAM frequency, that's just going to be the speed of the RAM. You might want to just start just start off with the highest speed your RAM's rated for, and then you can even work up from there or work down from there. Uh, the block number, that's just going to be the multiplier. Uh, assuming you haven't messed with block, then it should be 100. DRAM models, that's how many RAM sticks you have. For that kit, it's four. Okay, so you got this information put in. You're, the next thing you're going to need to do is come over here to XMP and just press xmp and that's going to give you some information here um i didn't actually have to put any of this in anywhere so you know don't really i wouldn't even pay attention to that <clears throat> so after you have that information in what you're going to do is you're going to have to calculate what number what information you're going to have to put in for your ram sticks you're going to see three possible options here there's uh safe fast and extreme i would personally suggest starting with even safe or fast um, for me, I just did safe on that other computer because it's, you know, I didn't really want to mess with, it. you know, I, I would, I want it stable. Uh, so let's just do safe for right now. So when you press safe, now what it's going to do is give you a bunch of numbers here and all this information, you're going to need most of this information actually put into your motherboard's BIOS for your RAM timings. Uh, so basically from here, what you want to do is you want to take a picture of this, even take a picture of it with your cell phone. You know, write the numbers down, get it on a second screen, whatever. But you're going to need this information. You're going to take all these numbers and you're going to basically put them into your, your, put them in under all your RAM timings of your RAM in the BIOS. As far as putting all the numbers in, it can be a little confusing at first. Um, but once you do it once, it kind of starts, you know, getting a little easier for you to find what you're looking for. Uh, you'll notice a couple things like, see, this one is TWRWRSC. Uh, where there's that space it actually at least in my motherboard bios there is no space there um so you know just just you know be aware of that and just put these in this was another uh right here was another one that necessarily wasn't the exact same it didn't read the exact same in my motherboard bios um so you know just put all that in uh let's see the voltage i wouldn't go too much higher than this voltage with ram personally so you know, if it's giving you some crazy high RAM voltage, you may want to, uh, you know, dial dial things back. But uh, OK, guys, I mean, that's that's really all I have for right now. Um, using this little software program, this little program right here, you should be able to get uh, an unstable kit stable, assuming there's no other problems going on there. But guys, that's all I have for right now. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm currently working on a uh, Ryzen 7 video, though I did run into some problems with that. Um, I'm also looking into uh, benchmarking an HD7950 here soon that a user on OCN sent me. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And if you're buying something from Amazon, use the link and, uh, you know, I'll get a little kickback. It doesn't cost you anything. But uh, other than that, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching and good luck. Peace.